Georgia Tech paid 50 grand to an anti-LGBT legal group uh, to settle a federal uh, lawsuit after the school's student government denied funding for an on-campus appearance by known homophobe Alveda King. SGA members cited King's long anti-LGBTQ history, including her comments in a 2010 Atlanta rally where she compared same-sex marriage to genocide. Each anti-LGBTQ group alliance, def uh, alliance defending freedom represented the Students for Life in the lawsuit. The group asserted that the school violated the constitutional rights of the Students of Life members. Um, this is from... Uh, Project Q. Oh, yeah. yeah. First uh, Amendment cases on state schools are very tricky. And also, Georgia Tech may have just made the decision yeah. to pay this to make it go away. Oh, they absolutely did. Yeah. If a, if a university is going to be using university fees to pay for speakers, it should be selected by the university. It should be selected by adults. Like, don't. Leave it like up to I the kids. think, I think what you you know, I think the way to do this, and I did some student government stuff when I was in so law school. I, unfortunately, you know, each club gets X number of dollars, and they can do whatever they want with it, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And and that's that's their money; they can spend it. It's not like, well, can we get the student government to pay X number of additional dollars so we can pay this speaker? Because that's when it gets dicey, because yeah. that's when you're making decisions. So, <laughs> timeline, yeah. conservative group says, we're going to get Dr. King to sp speak. Mm -hmm. um, sounds great. Let's do it. Uh, and then the school says, we're not going to pay $2,400 to Dr. King to speak because yeah. it's... The it, student government, yeah. Because the student government said it could be potentially homophobic. Great. The state... Is, is only allowed to to impact free speech in, in limited circumstances, right? Um, and that extends to state-run schools. If this was a private institution, they can do whatever they want. It doesn't matter. Even though it's harder for – even uh, private schools still take public money. Okay. So yeah. since yes, this it is does become an issue, yeah. yeah. But because this is a state school, they have to follow the First gotcha. Amendment. So the government is telling my, me hey, yes. that, that I cannot hear this opinion, and that's yes, where the, the government is. is is interfering in the ability of – of these individuals to to give their speech yes in a gotcha. public, um, public and forum. and it, and it's and it's a system where it's not that they're telling them no you can't do it they're saying no we won't fund it right but that's the they've already the established that they do grant funding for speakers and now they're making decisions based on viewpoint and, and they may be making i don't know what else they're funding they may be funding literally pro lgbt speakers or pro or yeah. literally diametrically opposed viewpoints and that mm -hmm. that would be a problem yeah so as long as this person isn't coming and making an actual call for violence like there's very limited things that you can actually there's a legitimate purpose in censoring for, for and, legal purposes. And that's where I would, yeah. Because yeah. if I were them, I would make the argument maybe it is an incitement to violence. Or, um, but I, I, it's harder for, I mean, based on that particular speaker, it's a harder position to take because I don't know if she has. It's not like you're inviting, let's, like, let's uh, assume she has. Uh, it, you're I, you're, I you're, you're asking, right. like, an armed group or something to speak. Right. Um, but potentially maybe you're also taking a position on that issue in particular that you're discriminating against that it might create a discriminatory environment for your students mm -hmm. um if you're endorsing her coming onto campus it might make you as an employee of georgia tech or a student at georgia tech feel that your school is supporting discrimination mm -hmm. it's it's yeah. frustrating to me but i think georgia tech probably made the right fiscal decision to just settle and, and move on yeah because otherwise this could have cost so much money but they need yeah. to look at their public speaker policy and they did they already adjusted oh good oh, yeah because now I, it is honestly viewpoint, um like non-specific. Um, let's say that there is a you know big push on campus for a controversial speaker to come speak on campus. You guys are administration. What are your make thoughts? it a debate? That was, a debate. That's what else the Amherst they always made is like yeah. like Ann Coulter is coming to campus. F quick, find someone who opposes her. Have a panel. Right. <laughs> yeah. That is usually how yeah. a lot of things panic. Yeah. Choose. I think if if you're concerned about the viewpoint that's going to be expressed, generate it into something where you know it's going to yeah it's going to be a debate, and there has to be a balance between you know like what's harmful versus what do you just not agree with and like what hurts right. your feelings but what is actually causing systemic yeah. violence and you could quite and you can protest speech you don't like quite even yeah, outside absolutely. put up your 
have your quiet, peaceful protest. Or when Scalia came to my college, people wore black armbands and sat quietly and did nothing but just note they don't like what he was saying. I went to Notre Dame. There were plenty of controversial speakers. Uh, Barack Obama was my graduation speaker. Cool. I have That's never dope. seen more protests. Wow. On in my life. Oh, unreal. Guys, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, make sure you leave a comment. Go ahead and like it. And uh, yeah, let us know your thoughts. Guys, if you could share this on your timeline or with people that you think would resonate with it, that would be fantastic. Hey, if you want a will, estate plan, or you want to do anything involving trust or uh, involving legacy preservation, go ahead and give us a call. Our number is 404-939-7562 or send us an email at info at modernestateplanning.com. We would love to help you create an estate plan that protects your legacy and like preserves your assets and helps you out significantly. Uh, that's what we do. We are based in Atlanta, Georgia, and we would love to help you do that, especially with the coronavirus going on. You never know. It's terrifying. Have a great day. Bye-bye.